And welcome back to yet another episode of Ratchet and Clank, uh, Up Your Arsenal Developer Commentary. I am Tony Garcia. And I'm Mike Stout. Mike, I'm still loving that intro. It's probably the best thing we've ever done. I, I laugh every time I see it. Uh, it's and I not to it. toot our own horn, but it's pretty good. <laughs> I love how long it says HD. Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing touch. The music, the, the whole thing. It's just so good. Yeah. I'm you a fan. you 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 excelled and knocked that another part. Okay, so. Glad I could help. That's the only bit of praise you're going to get into the movie for the rest of this commentary. For the rest of the whole Ratchet Three commentary, yeah, or just this rest, episode? For the rest of well, you know what? For the rest of our friendship, that's probably the last one. I'm Ouch. just going to throw it out there. Ouch. No more. No more that's praises. <laughs> Why do you hate me, Tony? I'm sorry. It's just going to be all ridicule from here on out. Well, fortunately, I have a. Uh, I think I still have the list of things that we haven't talked about yet. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> one of the things that they uh, they keep asking us to talk about is uh, the music in the game. Uh, do you know anything? No, I did not work on the music in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I had nothing to do with it. Neither did I. Um, the the extent of my my dealing with the music was uh, uh, when I was a tester, I had to test the music transition zones. So the only story I have really about how the music worked in Ratchet was uh, that when, when you go into different areas and we transition to different themes, we wanted to like do a smooth transition and not just a jarring, the music stops. The next music starts, right? Mm-hmm. So there were these there were these in and out zones that had to be carefully placed everywhere in the game to get the music to transition well, and it was such a pain in the ass when we were testing it on Ratchet One, I think, that we stopped doing it entirely. So if you're if anyone was wondering why there are different themes for different segments in Ratchet One and not in later games, uh, you know, for the most part, uh, that's why. Because it was a huge pain in the ass to set up. Yeah. Uh, beyond that, though, I don't. I, well, I mean, we didn't do much. the music in house. Uh, it was the thing. We farmed it out to a composer. Um, right. Da- David Bergeau, I think, is the yeah. name. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I'm sure. And I mean, I've never even met the guy. I, <laughs> so it's hard for me to talk too much about the music. I just didn't interact with him. Uh, yeah, I never, I never met him either. I, I would interact a lot with Paul and Dwight, though. Paul and Dwight were our. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Paul and Dwight were our sound team, and Jackie was our voiceover uh, 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 team. She would do the the casting and the voice directing and all the audio related to that sort of stuff. Uh, and uh, you know what? What you probably could talk about, though, Tony, is actually what I can. I'm gonna. I will say one thing that I know will make a lot of people sort of maybe upset, uh, but it's kind of fun. Is that I remember every every time. Uh, we talk about music on Rational Clank. Everybody always asks uh, why the soundtrack isn't out there. Like, where can I get the soundtrack? I want the soundtrack. <laughs> That's true. They do, don't they? They do. And I remember there was at one point where I actually, uh, I, I know I have it somewhere, uh, just a list of all the MP3s from all the levels on in the game. And I absolutely, positively, 100% cannot give it to anybody ever under any circumstance. Well, that's okay, Tony. They've all ripped it illegally anyway. I know, but I mean, I have the actual tracks, <laughs> not ripped from the game at all. Like, the actual tracks. So are you just saying this to, to wave it in yeah, people's... Yeah, to rub it into everybody's face. That I have something that they can <laughs> never have. I, I've got a few of my favorites, but uh, I don't have them all. Uh, and as far as the reason for not... Uh, putting them out i mean that's it's really it's just sony's decision uh well i mean i'm sure there's a whole licensing issue thing involved yeah there's a as with everything that has to do with music there's licensing the music there's also um the sony since their first party they don't really do a lot of merchandising uh or at least they didn't used to for the games because 
the whole point of the games was to sell hardware, right? Sony's a hardware company. Uh, so they didn't do a lot of the kind of making money off of the side things like soundtracks and all that. So uh, if anything, it's probably just sort of a, a, a you know, what, what, what Sony's corporate stance on soundtracks were back then, I think. Because yeah. we all wanted one. Uh, I, I remember we asked for it a number of times, so it's not like it was impossible or anything. It's just uh, they did, you know. Well, there was always decided... a lot going on about. Um, I mean, I remember there was a whole. I mean, we all wanted action figures back when we were still working on this. Yep. Yeah. We all wanted soundtracks when we were still working on this. I mean, there's like. Because we name it, we asked for it. We want that stuff as much, if not more, than you guys do. Right. Uh, and believe it's, us. It's not always on on our it's not always our call and it's not always uh, possible you know just uh right sometimes it can happen sometimes it can't uh but you know just don't don't do anything illegal to get them because i certainly wouldn't want to recommend that but that's probably the only way you're going to get them so sorry <laughs> yeah my uh my favorite ratchet and clank track of all time is the one i think it plays in the museum in that quark episode uh, because it was so delightfully old school Nintendo 2D that I, you know, I, I just needed it. So that and the theme song from the uh, that facility with the squirrels in Ratchet 2, those were my two favorite tracks. Because it sounded like a James Bond theme. It was like bum, 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 bum. It was great. I don't know if we'll have enough time to talk about it in this episode, but maybe next episode we could talk a little bit about uh, implementing sound and what that process was like on the Ratchet games, because I remember it being quite a process. Let's talk about how fun all the upcoming episodes are going to be. That sounds good to me. Uh, every episode that comes after this one's going to be so great. You guys are going to get blown away. Yeah. By like, every other episode besides this one. This one, probably middle of the road episode. But the next episode, oh man. Uh, what else can we promise? Uh, we'll give every viewer a million dollars. If you look under your seat, there's a car. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, in the next episode. Not in this the next ep episode. Not talking about this episode. This no, uh, That's not no. going to happen in this episode. And so, for this incredibly short episode of Ratchet & Clank Developer Commentary, my name is Mike Stout. And I am Tony Garcia. And we are so sorry. <laughs>